Welcome everyone to episode 1 of Code What's Up What for Free. In this video, we will be covering two important topics, sessions and message handling. So let's get started. In the previous episode, we successfully authenticated with WhatsApp. However, every time we restarted the program, we had to go through the QR code process, which is not ideal. To avoid this, we will need to save the sessions. To accomplish this, WhatsAppWeb.js provides many authentication strategies, but we will be using the local auth strategy. Please keep in mind that this strategy is not compatible with hosts like Heroku, as indicated by the warning. It is very easy to use local auth strategy in your code. All you need to do is import local auth from the library and initialize it in the auth strategy option when creating a new client instance. Now that we have implemented the local auth strategy, we can run our program and save our session data. Let me show you real quick. When you run the program for the first time, do not terminate it immediately. Wait for bot to save the session data at least one or two minutes. As you can see, this time it connected without any authentication. Now that we have finished the session setup, we can move on to the next step, which is handling messages. Let's say we want to reply to a specific message when it is received. To achieve this, we can listen to the message event and check if the message body contains the specific text we want to reply to. If the message does contain this text, we can simply use the message.reply method to send a reply. If you want to send a message to the same chat without replying to a particular message, you can replace uh, reply with get chat method to retrieve the chat object and then use send message method to send a new message to the chat with the desired text. Now if you want to react to a message, you can just use message.react method and specify any emoji you want to react with. Now that we have learned how to send a basic text message, let's explore how to send media files through WhatsApp. There are different methods to send media files based on what you want to send. If you want to send media through URL, you will need to import message media module and use from URL method. And that's it for episode 1 by now. You should have good understanding of how to implement session using the local auth strategy and how to handle incoming messages, react to them and send media files. Remember these are just the basics and there is a lot more you can do with whatsappweb.js. And don't forget to check out the official documentation and example to learn more. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next episode.